subtracting money. It's basically the same as adding money. You want to make sure you line up the columns very straight. You want to keep the decimal points above and below each other. You want to keep your cents in the cents columns and your dollars in the dollar columns. And you want to remember to write the dollar sign in your answer. If we had $60.20 and we spent $17.21, how much would we have left over? Well, you can't have zero and take one away, so we need to borrow it from the two. It becomes a one and the zero becomes a ten. 10 take away 1 is 9. You can't have 1 and take 2 away, so we need to borrow it from the 60. The 60 becomes a 59, and this 1 now becomes an 11. 11 take away 2 is 9. Remember to put your decimal point. 9 take away 7 is 2. 5 take away 1 is 4. Remember your dollar sign. And we have $42.99 left over. What if you had, 40, you had $4, but you bought something for $0.36? Cents? How much would you have left? Well, you can cross off the 40 and make it a 39 and add the 1 to the 0 to make it a 10. 10 take away 6 is 4. 9 take away 3 is 6. Remember our decimal point. 3 take away nothing is still 3. And remember your dollar sign you would have $3.64 left over. Subtracting money is the same thing as subtracting decimals. Just remember to put your dollar sign into the answer.